So we got whole costume contest awards. Oh my god! You know I do this every year, and every year it just feels like I've done it over and over and over and over. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to your stage your 2023 20, masquerade judges. No. no. Never mind. It's okay, it's Uncle Yo, let me get him more coffee. Necessarily want to perform, so we're there to look at all the beautiful costumes and that we did. Oh my god, they brought it this year! Oh, 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 and I, I apologize. I just, uh, who am I? Hey, I am Barry or uh, Barracuda. Uh, I have been cosplaying for a very long time. Um, I also uh, just recently represented the United States in World Cosplay Summit as Team USA 2021. Uh, I love you, Dana. I don't know if you're going to watch this, but I love you. Uh, That's my partner. Uh, anyway, uh, I am going to pass up the mic to my lovely next judge. Hello, ZikaiCon. All right, my name is Mithril Arts. You may recognize me from guesting last year. And I'm happy to come back to Judge Hall this year. And um, I've been cosplaying since 2011, so you know, a while. And then um, I'm also the cosplay director for Blurred Con and also for Miyoku Con. So you also definitely check those conventions out because I'm running it. So. Uh, hi, I'm Cherry Kakiri. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I've been to ZenkaCon for many years. Um, I've been cosplaying since 2011, and I just really love cosplay and the whole contest. So it's an honor to judge this year. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Who's ready to hear about some winners? I mean, honestly, though, everyone, like everyone, if you can hear me, if you were in the whole cosplay contest, even if you did not win an award, you were amazing and you should be proud of yourselves. Absolutely. Like, everyone brought it. We had a hard time. We were deliberating for a long time. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, first up, we will go start with our honorable mentions. First, we have, oh, very appropriate to give this one to me, Lizzie. Thank you. We have Anna P. as Uta. We love Uta in this house. She really brought it. This dress, as you saw on stage, transforms. It's crazy. It's so cool. And the best part, it was like not bulky at all, but also this jacket. Holy crap. This jacket was, oh, beautiful. And I mean, I've made the jacket too, so like I know. And the wings and everything, but congratulations. But anyway, congratulations, and I will pass on to the next one. All right, our next honorable mention is Vicious Cosplay as Groom Dowsant. So as Dowsant is gracing us with, with their presence, um, we love the tailoring on the jacket. It was just beautiful, and just every detail was perfect. Here we go. So if you get a chance, go up and check this costume out up close, the hat. The shell, the tail, everything was just beautiful. Congratulations. Uh, so our next uh, honorable mention goes to uh, Megan as Sun Eater. Woo! She here? This was um, this is a really cool costume. There was a lot. Oh, she here? We found her! Yay! <laughs> Um, there was a lot going on on this costume. There's, you know, just all different kinds of work of sewing and uh, figuring out, you know, armor and props and everything like that. Um, the fingers were like really cool, like they were like real tentacles almost, but I don't know. I, it, it was really cool to touch and feel and see it up close. So just awesome work. 
And then, uh, no, we have two more. All right, next, our another honorable mention goes to Ari Alchemist as Gage. This costume was so neat to see. Like, they built the, high, the, the, the wig out of foam, and like, all the cell shading was incredible. They did a great job with the paint. And just, they killed it. The prop that they made, very good, amazing. And just a really, really wonderful way to bring the character to life. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, and for wrapping up our honorable mentions, we have Sea of Wishes as Rose. Look at it. Um, this one's real nice too. Yeah. Yeah, Look at the screen. Nice. This one is beautiful too. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. So yeah, the tailor, the, 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 the song was perfect. We couldn't find any flaws at all. The fabric was beautiful. The glasses are really cool. Great job. to me. Okay. All right. So now we have our judges awards and these are awards that each of us thought was the best costume personally uh, for, for various reasons. And so my judges award goes to Blue Clarice as Lorraine from Animal Crossing. This is a cake incarnate. Um, the, this is the strawberry everything. The hand sewn um, uh, rhinestones are really beautiful. And look at this wool, the, this wool detail. This is sculpted wool, this is beautiful. Congratulations. All right, for my judges award, this costume, this, cos this cosplayer has such a bright future ahead of them, and I am so excited to see what they do next. Um, I was really, really, really impressed with all the little details they put into this costume, and I was just really blown away, especially for someone so young. Anyway, my judges award is going to Willow as Rinko Shirogane from Bang Dream. Oh, and they did a, they did a masquerade performance. That was also awesome. Congratulations! You're welcome! Uh, hi, my judges award uh, goes to oh, Moo Kowski as Howl Pendragon. Uh, this costume was, was gorgeous. It's one of those where it no, if, if you know Studio Ghibli, it takes you back, but you get really picky about the things that you see all the time. And this, like, the work in this was so good and so perfect, and I, I couldn't find anything wrong as a beginner. And it just blew me away, so wow. Also, Castlebert's just a little guy. Oh, Castlebert, he's a little guy. Congratulations. Now we are moving on to our major awards, which includes the best of categories and continuing on forward. So first we have our youth category, and they are always, we love getting people into cosplay so early. It's so great that you can get into cosplay so early these days. And our best youth is Bennett as Sweetheart. Congratulations, you are so cute. This skirt, oh my gosh, especially after seeing it on stage, it moves so well. And also, I mean, like, it's crazy. These kids these days, man. Kids these days. Congratulations. Adult winners. Um, our best beginner um, goes to Mirror Divis. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. As Iris Wilson from Attorney Ace. So we were incredibly impressed by the tailor. Just everything that went into it was just beautiful and perfect. 
Um, we love the 3D printing that went into it, the finishing, the stitching, and some hard materials. Um, upholstery velvet is, destroys your sewing machine. So um, we, we, we love the costume. Oh, thank you. I don't, I don't. Okay, well, we will get your award to you. <laughs> well, well, if you know who they are, uh, please have them come to the Cosplay HQ to pick up their award. Thank you. And our best intermediate is Frozen Waffle Cosplay as TechCore Moody. Uh, this costume was so cool. Like their, their armor was beautiful. There's so much weathering going on, so much detail, the lights. Um, and they did so much research into getting into like the historical World War II kind of aspect of everything. They just put so much thought, yeah, no, amazing. Um, yeah, just all the details, if you look up close, it's, it's great, it's fantastic, wonderful job. Next, we're moving on to our advanced category. This is the highest level that we have in competition, and wow, we had some amazing entries, but one truly stood out, and best advanced is going to, to Allie L. Cosplay as Jester Lavore. This costume, like so many layers, and it just, it was, we couldn't find a flaw. We were like, wait, this is, you made this? All of this? Wow! Like, hand beaded everything. It's beautiful. The prop, amazing. Congratulations. You deserve it. Yeah, embroidery I want to talk about. Com com combining machine and hand embroidery was very amazing. Oh, wait, here. Jester, Jester. Jester, come back. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Um, this is our spirit award, and this is uh, given to someone who embodies the spirit of cosplay and positivity and everything. Every all the good fuzzy feelings we got from this person as, as they came into judging. So this goes to Declan. Uh, Declan is fine as Yuri Plitetsky. Pl Pl Yuri on ice thing. <laughs> so we admired um, that they changed, that their body changed over time, and they, they adjusted the cosplay to change their body. And you know, cosplay is about making your, making your, getting, getting your shoes. Your, your, congratulations. Okay, best of Friday. So this is out of all the uh, skill levels, um, the best costume that we saw on Friday. Uh, so that goes to Oma Cosplay as Steampunk Leia. Uh, this costume was just perfect. Like, the, there are so many layers going on. There was so much research and historical accuracy. Um, th like, everything that they did was just so perfectly done. I couldn't... just blew me away. They had props. They had... You know, the sewing was perfect. Um, amazing job. Amazing this job. is her... Daughter. I couldn't tell, sometimes you never know with the costumes. So our daughter, her, her mom is actually not feeling so well tonight, so she's accepting the award on her behalf. Feel better, Mama! Alright, so next we have our Best of Saturday. So they were the people who brought it today, and our Best of Saturday is Antique Owl Studios as Molly Mock Tealy from The Critical Role. This costume was so cool to look at. There was just so much going on, and it's just, it was so neat. The textures, the embroidery, the everything, the construction, it was just, uh, and they made some like modifications just that we thought really suited the character, and it was really wonderful to see great 3D printing. It was wonderful. Congratulations. I But yeah, no, they were really great. And they painted themselves purple for it, too. Like, dang. They're on their way. Almost here. Congratulations! Yeah, check out the back of that coat, right? Right? And the front, too, but also the back. 
And the inside. And the inside and the everything, really. We're going to announce, this is the big one. Um, uh, drum roll, please. Our best of weekend for ZenkaiCon 2023 is... So there's a lot of really complex uh, material manipulation with this costume. It was really impressive to see. I'm really sad that you guys can't see it all on stage. Now, without, without you, who obviously had craftsmanship in the first place to create Marissa. <laughs> no, it was so cool. Like, everything was going on. The wig and... Masquerade Awards. Dude, usually, I've been doing you know, conventions for like 25 years. I'm old. Um, and I can usually tell who's going to be the top tier winners. I have no idea. So I'm really excited. Alright, let's do it! Get on up here! Uh oh, wait, I gotta go over here. Get on over there! Get on over there! Get on over here! Get on over there! Get on over everywhere. They shouldn't have given me a microphone. That was a mistake. Yeah, she could have won. Hello, everybody! We're almost there. Just hold on a little longer. I promise you it'll be worth the wait. But let's go ahead and get our awards up here at some point in time in the near future. In the meantime, we want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It's always a much better show when there's an audience. Hey, can I get some of those Sir Tiffy cats? So we can hand them out. We're very organized. Stevie? Oh. <laughs> You're all in costume. I have no idea who you guys are. It's okay, we don't know who we are either. I will say this. They made it very hard. Everyone was phenomenal tonight. It was so incredibly hard to make choices. But I'm going to pass the mic on, so that way we can give out our first judges award. No, I'm gonna go first. You wanna go first? I wanna go first. Okay, I'll let you go first. So, we let these guys always give out a special award. It's always a special of the special of the special. Something that touches their hearts, drags the tears out of their eyes, and remembers why they got up at but o'clock in the morning for rehearsal. So, this is from Sonus. It's the Sonus Award, which is our tech crew. Give it up for the tech crew. That's what I thought. 
And this goes to Effervescence. the character and I really really love them on stage it's gonna go to uh, Leo <laughs> Judges Award. This one caught us all very off guard, but it really sung out to me and my band geek heart. This one goes to a Phantom Chimera as Undertaker. to something if a lot of people don't know this since I actually work in theater I've done a lot of different things and I have a soft spot a soft spot for Muppets and this goes to Ash as a critical role Sergeant Strawberry Judges Award, and I gotta say, it was fun to watch somebody get double cheeked up on a Saturday night. This goes out to Solid Snake, Chris Corte! It's going to be for toothpaste costs. for another dance routine that blew us all away. Get back up your effervescence. <laughs> Sorry about making you take all the stairs and those heels yet again. We just want to see you again. That's really why we're coming back. <laughs> going to Calixta Star.
So now we get to our big awards. And we're starting with Best Beginner. And that goes to, and if I mispronounce this, please don't hurt me, Anja Cosplay! I wasn't sure if the J was silent! Best Intermediate is going to be Diomira and Andrew from the Cat Returns. Costume change. This one goes to Horror Queen Cosplay. cosplay of doing the masquerade coming up here and doing everything that we do and we're giving this award to our wonderful idols Liza Arrow <laughs> personally I'm a bit of a sucker for idol stuff they're so cute when they do things together <laughs> These are original designs that they did based on it was Genshin Impact characters, I believe. This came from their heads! That's crazy! Well done! <laughs> and now it all comes down to this. It comes down to best in show. The winner of Best in Show shall receive this gorgeous ribbon, this beautiful trophy, and this amazing sewing kit that is actually filled with sewing supplies and not cookies, so I'm told. There's cookies, not sewing supplies. I didn't have money for that. No, there's sewing supplies! <laughs> I got some extra the back, too! Yeah! And there's more stuff! But your winners for Best in Show, IRL Gucci Gang! And now back to Uncle Yo. Uncle Yo didn't fall asleep today. I know he misses the microphone. Is he gone? We gotta go to his next event, so I get to close the show. I get to be Uncle Yo. It's, uh, you know, really nice to see everybody here. No, but for real. Ooh. So, thank you so much for coming in and staying to see who won, because that's really the most important part for us. Thank you for, you know, cheering everybody on. Next up is the dating game, which will be very soon, because we ran over. So, if you all want to see that, get on up and get in line. 
Thank you and good.